Welcome to the Fly Route Pod. I'm gonna cut to the chase. About 96% of y'all watching this video have not subscribed. And I need that number to go up to continue to make these videos and support the channel. So slam that subscribe button on your screen right now and hit the notification bell. And while I have you, I wanna give a shout out to my sponsors at mybookie.ag. Mybookie.ag is the best place for you to get your sports betting on. MyBookie.ag has live in-game betting on every NFL game for my diehard cappers and prop bets such as the over-under on fantasy points. Use promo code FLY and receive a 100% match on your first deposit up to $1,000. That's double your money to double your winnings with your first ever deposit using promo code FLY. I want to move on down to the fact that Le'Veon Bell is signed with the practice squad for the Ravens. People are reported to believe that he's going to join the official roster later on. And now as a person that hyped up Le'Veon Bell signing to the Chiefs last season, in fact, we had an entire episode cover dedicated to Le'Veon Bell joining the Chiefs last year. And, but here's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to fall for the same story trice. Some say twice, I will say trice. This, for me, I truly believe is the final step for Le'Veon Bell. If it doesn't work out in Baltimore, he is officially washed. I know many people have already written him off as washed, but I want to give him one last chance. Since leaving Pittsburgh, we all know he has never been the same. Not even close. But I am willing to not put 100% of the blame of that on Le'Veon Bell. He leaves Pitt, he wants his money, I respect that and I always will, and then he goes to the Jets. He ends up having career lows in yards per carry, yards per game, touchdowns outside of his season where he was injured and only played six games. Like, it is pretty, pretty bad. Now, is that all his fault? I don't think so. The Jets were a dumpster fire and Adam Gase was literally the brightest flame. But then he goes to Kansas City. He goes to a fantastic team that lost in the Super Bowl, but was barely able to get any run or play on that team. Now, it's just partially because Kansas City had a pass-happy offense. I mean, yes, they have Patrick Mahomes. They should have a pass-happy offense. But it also means that Andy Reid saw Le'Veon Bell in practice, saw him in his limited running games, and did not like what he saw. And he had some slick comments for Andy Reid afterwards. We're not going to get into that. But listen, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me a third time and maybe I'm just gullible. So I'm going to temper my expectations for Le'Veon Bell joining the Baltimore Ravens. But what I will say here is, if it does not work in Baltimore, Le'Veon just doesn't have it anymore. Baltimore with that offensive line and that running scheme, who can run on literally any team in the league, unlike the Jets, who want to run all the time and a lot, unlike the Chiefs, where Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins, Mark Ingram were all able to average over five yards a carry, where Gus Edwards at 5.2 yards a carry was like top five, top three in the league in yards per carry. If you cannot run and run efficiently and well and put up numbers in this Baltimore offense, it's over for Le'Veon Bell. He doesn't have it anymore. This is literally the perfect situation and there is literally no more excuses.